Hey guys, I just wanted to make a little bit of a update on our summer so far. We've been going for a little over a month and let's see, we have a little over a month left. Everyone around here goes back to public school on August 9th and we still have until the day after Labor Day, which I think is September 4th. So we still have a good month left of summer. And I'm really excited about that. It took me a little while to get into the swing of a routine, of a new rhythm, um, especially with one of my, with my babe going from two naps down to one. And so we've just, we've been doing swim lessons and we finished up soccer and we just signed up for fall soccer and fall t-ball. And so it just took us a little while to figure out what days we were going to do what. We picked up a library day consistently throughout the week now because this is kind of like the summer of reading. Um, if you've been following, you know that my second grader, soon to be third grader, is kind of a reluctant reader. And so we really want to practice that so we can start reading the recommended books for third grade um, this year that go with our Oak Meadow uh, Level 3. And I also have a kindergartner who's going to be in first grade and she has been doing um, teach your child to read in a hundred easy lessons and she's about halfway through and we paused that through the summer unless she really wants to because in Oak Meadow they don't at least in the older versions I feel like I need to really specify that now because there is a big difference now that people are realizing about the older and the newer versions of Oak Meadow um, there is a big difference and so, at least in the older versions, the ones that we use, um, they don't teach you to read until the end of first grade. And she's starting first grade already halfway through this book because she really wants to read. And she's reading a lot of basic words on her own. She really wants to read. So, I didn't want to push it if she didn't want to do it since we're not doing, we're not doing formal school. But um, we picked up a library day, so we're going to the library once a week. We picked up meeting with um, other homeschooling families one day a week and going to the library, and that has been really fun. So they get excited to see their homeschooling friends once a week at least. And we did swim lessons for a while, and now those are done. But I'd like to find some more, maybe either now or um, when school starts again, maybe an indoor swim lesson. And yeah, really just trying to make a good routine for the summer because it's been hard. It's been hard um, to not have a full day just naturally planned because you've got schooling. So I know why a lot of people want to push back and start school early, but I'm really trying to enjoy the change and just the, the change in pace and just kind of having more open days um, my baby just turned two and we don't have another baby on the way um, or a little baby at home so it's a different season of life and we're just trying to enjoy it so we still have a month left so I don't know what we're gonna do hopefully a couple trips okay so I had to stop filming that for a second because my dog started barking at somewhere outside but we hope to do a theme park day and maybe go to the zoo Maybe stay at a hotel and go see a, go to another city or another area like that. Um, just to kind of explore. And we do want to do a treasure hunt before school starts. The kids requested a specialized treasure hunt just for them, like on the weekend before school starts. So we're going to try to do that too. But yeah, summer's going. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff going on, but it's also just about relaxing and not having such a packed schedule with schooling. So here's to another month.
I do remember that the bike got stuck up there. Those are black eyed Susans. And the pink and the pink ones are, are cone flowers. They're all natives to Indiana. We've been going to the library a lot and my current situation is just piling it up on this vanity so that way they don't get destroyed so I need like a box or a container or something but it's hard to know how big to get because books are all different sizes but I wanted to share a couple books that we've been reading this week that are great this one right here seahorse the shyest fish in the sea is awesome by Chris Butterworth I think I'm gonna buy it it's beautiful and um, it just tells this little story from birth um, of little seahorses and how they they do they have camouflage, how they mate, how the daddies, in the sense, you know, give birth to the baby seahorses and how they fly away or swim away, and then how they kind of decide where they're going to live. But the really cool thing about it is that it has all of these little blurbs of information like at the bottom. So like this is the story, but down here it's talking about, it just kind of gives you little bits of information about seahorses and I just really liked that. Um, because we read the story and then the kids were just fascinated with it. It really held their attention and it was, um, it, it taught all of us something about seahorses that we didn't know. So I think I'm going to get this one because it's just a great, a great little book. So, yep, we got this one at the library. So I highly recommend that one, especially if you're doing something with aquatic life or animals or fish. Um, this is a really good one. And then the other one that we just started looking into, yeah, we're doing a lot of summer reading our pra or practicing level ones and level twos you see here. But the other one that my one daughter found, and I haven't got a great, ch I haven't gotten a chance to really look at it fully yet. But it's this one right here, the Human Body Factory. And I'm, this one, actually, I'm not even sure how old this is. So I might be late on the game with how cool this book is. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, 2012. So, I mean, it's decently old, what, six years. But, as someone who took quite a few anatomy classes in college, um, just by looking at it, you know, with my, it's still, even though I'm educated, it's still what I would do, like a layman's eye. Hold on, sweetheart. It looks really awesome. And things that my kids really love is this blood and circulation. You can see. It's pretty neat. We've already had some great discussions about it, just with the kids looking through it and asking, what's this and what's that? And they got a big kick out of the hair. What did you say, Miss Audrey? Oh, it looks like they're harvesting it's crops. It's like their hair is their crops. It's like their hair is their crops. The, yeah, the, that's what she said. Their hair is their crops. 
There we go. So she just thought that was pretty cool. It was funny. Yeah. So I can't wait to get more into this book. And this looks like one where if it's pretty accurate for at least what we've observed so far. This is going to be um, We're going to get it because this one is awesome. And so if you have any other books like this that you know of, let me know no, because I it. these are great resources driving. to have. Yep. All right, so what are we reading today? Shellfish aren't fish. Shellfish aren't fish. A, this is different than the other ones we normally do. This is Rookie Read About Science. I'll show the front of this. This is a little bit of a different type of reader, but it's a second grade level, so she grabbed it. She's been grabbing second grade readers at school. And that looks about like... The reading level of the Oak Meadow second grader readers, wouldn't you say so? The ones you've been reading, you read during school. I would say that looks about right. Clam, look, clam. Yeah, she's been picking up a lot of um, animal books still. Still kind of going on the animal theme, huh? But these are more bigger than last time, or they're the same height. What are bigger? The the other book that was about sea stars. I think that I think the they were the same because I think the one about sea stars was the same size book. No, I um, mean the words. Oh, the words were bigger. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. You ready to start? Yeah. You got some tea there. Mhm. Mm All right. All right. Do our reading for the day. It is really steaming hot. It's still kind of hot. Mhm. Mm Looks good. So a about a week ago or I think maybe on Saturday, someone from the Matthew C. Buy, Sell, Trade, whatever, um, Facebook group put these math blocks on sale. And guess what she sold them for? It was a complete, what does it say on the front? It's an old set, starter set. A complete starter set missing just one little unit there, $15. I haven't seen them for um, that low a price usually even on the websites um even on the used websites and the used groups it's like 20 30 40 50 dollars or whatever 15 dollars so i quickly <laughs> got on that and paypal her the money and she sent it to me and it was still like 10 dollars and to send it to me and so she got like five bucks out of it but like even right here's the stars at 19 so this was a great deal and this is what we have. I'm starting, I'm actually gonna set it up like that and see exactly what all we have. I'm gonna clean some of them. But this is what we have left. We've used it for two years now, first and second grade. But I'm getting ready to have a third grader and a first grader. So I figured we needed a new set. And I know we're missing like, we don't have all the unit blocks. Let's see, look, there's even a like, oh. Like I know we're gonna need more unit blocks. So I knew we needed another set. But I was just waiting and waiting and I thought I really don't want to buy another new set when we buy the workbooks for Alpha and Beta and whatever the next one is too probably. <clears throat> but we were going to at least buy the workbooks for Alpha and Beta for um, September and I knew I was going to need another one especially if they do it at the same time. I just want to make sure I have enough and so I'm just so thankful. So if you use Matthew C there is a group on Facebook and um they always have stuff but it seems like you have to catch it because people just swoop them up because they're so expensive um and you have to if you use math you see like you basically have to use their blocks like they don't use like just the manipulatives that you can buy at amazon and things like that you have to buy their specific block and like people will tell you because like plus and minus and all that kind of thing so it's a special type of blocks but <clears throat> good deals are out there. $15. I'm so happy. This is kind of like the first Matthew C. thing I've bought this year. Um, still have to buy the two workbooks because I've got the teacher's manual for Alpha and Beta. I just need new workbooks for my girls. And then I'm going to go through these and see what I'm missing here. And probably have to buy a bigger container for all of this. But the rest of the supplementary... I mean, I'm going to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. The rest of the supplement stuff we've I've just started buying. So this is kind of my first big purchase for our math. And then also do all the arts and crafts and stuff. Um, 
my awesome sister-in-law brought me that like an hour ago or 30 minutes ago which was awesome my mom just brought me like a whole bunch of used clothes to go through and whatever I don't want she's gonna take to someone else so like my table is and like my grocery list for tomorrow right there so I mean I've got a lot going on right now but I'm really excited that these came in so yep Matthew C used um, group on Facebook if you're looking for stuff that's a place to look. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, so here we go. We're going to do it, okay? I'm not trying to fit both of you guys. Got to get it in this little hole. Here we go, odds. Oh, oh, so big. Oh, so big. Oh, so big. Oh. So, so, so big, oh, oh, so big, big seagull, so big. Are you ready? Seagull. Are you ready, Audrey? Oh, oh my God! God. That's a big one. Now it's my it turn. And so I grab it right there. Pinch it tight so the air doesn't it? come through. Wait. And then hold it up. It's kind of like this? gone. All right, and then let it go. Let, go. let it go. Yeah, I'll do yours next. Okay, I'll make it. Uh, three, two, one, go! Stop it! Woo! Stop it! 